Hello everybody, we are going to play Dev Guide today, and I've never played this game, so I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's jump right into it. As you can tell, I don't have a webcam, not yet. I plan to get one soon. Hello and welcome to the life of a Dev Guy. The man you see in front of you is Warren. He's the dev guy you'll be controlling. All you need to do is help him upload his game into the app store. Unfortunately, Warren's computer crapped out and lost his data. Luckily, Warren has a backup on a, heart, on a jump drive in his car. You just need to get him to it and upload the game. You control Warren's movements with the arrow keys and use E to interact with objects. When Warren attains a new item, it will be assigned to the R key and will appear where the red arrow is. If you ever wish to quit this game at any time, just hit escape to go to the main menu. Fair warning, this game does not save. You have been warned. Good luck helping Warren get his data back, and most of all, have fun. Alrighty. Just need to get to his car then, huh? The noises he makes when he walks is kind of funny. See, TV doesn't work though. Why do I even have this? This is my desk. Not much to say about it past it being my desk. Whatever that means. It's my bed. I sleep on it when I'm not pulling another all nighter. Alrighty, let's go outside. God, the door feels jammed. Pushing it does nothing. I'll have to go around. Around? I didn't see another door. Unless I, I missed something. Nope. Around the chair. Thank you. Those are windows. Am I supposed to crawl out a window? Okay, apparently I might be having to crawl out a window. Uh, let's try. Uh, maybe not that window. I'll we'll try this window. No? How in the world do I go around? Unless maybe it's over here somewhere? Hmm, event A. Maybe if I can unscrew the supports, I can sneak to the other side. I wasn't looking at the vent per se, but apparently I gotta find maybe a screwdriver? Yeah, there we go. It's a bookcase full of books and dystopic. Uh, okay. Oh, it's oh sweet. It's my trusty flathead. I can't leave the office without this little guy. I didn't even get to read the first part. Okay, I just kind of punched it. Oh shoot! I guess it was a pool door the whole time. Oh well, it's open now. Alrighty. <clears throat> okay, we got rooms here. What are these plants? Oh, weird looking plants. Let's go through door five first. No, can't. Okay. Looks like a crime scene for Miss Lonely Heart's dead cat. I'll have to find a way around. Okay, apparently somebody killed a lady's cat. Maybe I can interact with door 5 now, now that I looked at that. I don't know why I couldn't have done that in the first place. <coughs> Disappointing. I was really looking forward to judging that game. I'm apparently in somebody else's bedroom. Alright, what do we got over here? That is a very erotic pillow. It's Indo uh, Indio Baca's female body pillow girl, Natasha. Why am I even looking at this? I don't know. Uh, 
Okay, well, let's see what's down here. Oh, there's the door I think I came out of. Nope, I came out of that door. Okay, I guess we're going down this way. Yeah, we're in. Okay, we got around. Alright, let's see what we got here. We're gonna go in room three. I wonder why you're just allowed to just pop up in other people's bedrooms. Like, where is everybody? All these beds look the same. This complex must not really value the people who live in it. Alrighty. You would think a cigarette in his mouth would have um, went out already. I call plagiarism on that and I don't even like ponies. Alrighty. The door is locked, my only weakness. I'll have to get in another way. Maybe, well, there's room one here. Maybe you gotta go through a vent? Whoa. Some of the wallpaper looks like Mario. Like the coins and the flowers over there. I don't know about the other ones. Hmm. These cartridges are blank. This must must be for homebrew games. A little bit of typing error on that one. Ooh, old fashioned Nintendo. I remember these consoles. I also remember breaking mine. Alrighty, I'm gonna continue. Ah, I think we finally made it outside. Well, that was kind of weird. What? Drat, your car just got towed. You'll have to find a phone to call the towing agency. So, am I supposed to walk through town trying to find a uh, phone? Maybe not that way. There's cones over there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There isn't a cone on the side of the sidewalk. There seems to be a pony stopping me from walking. I don't know why I could just like we stepped over it. Okay, so I'm just gonna tromp here in the road for a little bit until I figure out where I'm going. And I apparently I can't go that way because there's cones in my way. Maybe I have to go back inside? Because I went both ways and I went as far as I could. Yeah, I think maybe I have to go back inside. I will go back inside. Maybe, um... I think room 2 was the room that was blocked off and I couldn't get in there. So we'll try room three. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, well, I was hoping there would be a vent in here on the wall so that way maybe I can uh, unscrew it and hoist myself into room two. Because I think room two was the one that was blocked off. Yeah, room two is the one that was blocked off, so maybe there's a vent in room one. No, no vent. Um, gotta find a phone. Up oh, here we go. Cape's towing. This is Cabe. Cabe, it's warm. One of your guys just towed my car. Oh shoot, really? Yeah, really. Alright, let's see if we have it. What kind of car is it? It's a black Buick Electra. Oh shoot. What? What's wrong? I just got back from towing a black Buick Electra. Damn it, Cabe, what the... 
what your license plate said tow me, so I just did what it asked. That's not an excuse for towing it. Heh, I suppose you're right. Sorry about that, man. Sorry, sorry, just bring it back. Alrighty, I'll be down in a bit. Hmm, sounds like Cave just pulled up. Yeah, I'm going to um, try not to curse on these. Wow, you showed up fast. Well, my place is just two blocks down. That would have been convenient if you didn't tow my car in the first place. Oh, hey, that reminds me. I saw you left your car unlocked, so I locked it up for you. Oh, is that so? Yeah, man, I got your back on this stuff, bro. Bro. I, I appreciate your concern, but that means I gotta go back upstairs to get my car keys now. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. It's alright. I'll be right back. Back upstairs we go. Oh, uh, what was that? Oh, shit. That sound came from outside. Better check it out. I gotta love that. Walk inside. Let's go get something. Then it tells me to go back outside. Oh. Okay, why is my car window busted? Well, I felt bad about locking the car, so I broke the window and unlocked it for you. Seriously, Cave? What the? Hey, I made up for my mistake by opening up the car for you. I just saved you a trip, bro. You broke my window. Ah, uh, well, um, sorry. It doesn't matter anymore. Now that it's unlocked, I can finally get my jump drive out. Oh, you mean this thing? Why didn't you say so? I had it with me the whole time. Damn it, Kay, what the f- Well, I figured no one would be using it after I towed the car, so I- So I took it for myself. I'm sorry. Just give me- Just give back my jump drive, and we'll put this behind us. If I can read correctly, that'd be nice. Alright, well, I'll be heading back now. Good luck with the game, man. Sorry about taking your car. Again. <clears throat> now that I got my jump drive, I think it's time to upload this game and move on with life. After a series of annoyance, you finally have your hard-earned backup on hand. And that is the life of a dev guy. Simple. A little rough in some parts, but genuinely... Wait a minute. This jump drive is empty. F... Cade must have formatted the damn thing and lost the data. That numb nut. Alright, no need to panic. You lost all your data and your publishing license expires tomorrow. Take that back. This is the prime time to panic. Panic like there is no effing tomorrow. It's all over. You failed to help Warren get his game on the app store and build his career. You're doomed. Wait a minute. There are other developers in the building. You may have a chance yet. All you need to do is take the jump drive, head to the other apartments, and do a little re little source hacking. Oh, great. Doing something legal. Alright, there are five devs in this place, so there are five games to source hack. Let's do this. Great, I'm about to start hacking into other people's computers. I feel like I'm going to get arrested. Alrighty, let's start in room five. Alright, this is the game made by Sam Shark. He makes good games, but is just a big jerk about it. Supposedly, this is his masterpiece, where you learn the trials of the human heart. The following could be a very strange and overrated game. Super Heart Rate Simulator. This is Stick. Stick is an ordinary human stick figure, heart and all. In this game, you are in charge of Stick's heart rhythm. The blue bar you see is Stick's heart rate, and the green bar beside it is his tolerance meter. Your job is to keep Stick's heart rate in the green zone by pressing the heart button. If Stick's heart rate is in the red zone, his tolerance will go down. If his tolerance reaches zero, Stick will have a heart attack. Let's try to keep Stick alive while he's just standing to, set, to test what you've learned just press the heart button every time you think he's reaching the red zone. 
<clears throat> if you ever wish to quit, just press the F key. Well done, you seem to know what you're doing, so let's begin level one, shall we? Walking to work. Oh, that was too much. Oh, come on, you were just walking stick to work. How do you feel that? Sai, so looks like you're going to have to do it again. <coughs> The little beginning was a little hard. Suddenly a cute girl. Ah, great move, bro. Not only did you kill Stig, but you found a way to humiliate him all at the same time by having his heart give out right before the cute girl could offer her number. Let's try that again, shall we? Ah. a little hard okay success stick gave the cute girls proper directions and made his way to work without a heart attack you're really getting the hang of this stage two nine to five well, this one isn't as hard as the first two those two like almost gave me a heart attack Ah! Suddenly Stick's boss shows up to examine his progress. I like how they throw these in. Cause you're just like calmly doing it. And then they throw in this one where you're about to freaking have a heart attack if you lose concentration. pee has gone now back to the boredom of work. Ah! Uh. Success! Stick made it through work and his heart rate is still intact. Now it's time to go home for the night. Oh god. Shh, stick is sleeping. Oh god! It went down so far. I'm gonna have a heart attack in my sleep. I am going... I really hope that I don't have to do this all over again. Oh my god. Oh dear. Seems Stick has died peacefully in his sleep. At least he'll never have to wake up for work again. I think we're gonna need to try this round once more. Okay. At least the sleep like, stops you at sleep instead of like all the way back at the beginning. That would be so horrible. Okay. So. Okay. It doesn't have to go all the way down, but like, um, I think the higher in the red, the lower that the green meter gets. So try to get the blue as far as you can down before hitting the heart button. But try not to get it into the red or the green meter will drop and I'm almost done, so. I do not like this game. Okay. Ah! Okay. Damn it, Stick couldn't get his mind off that girl and it cost him his life. Now he's dead with a ruined pair of pants. <laughs> Sigh, the mortician, mortician isn't going to like this. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, now I got to concentrate and do this over again. Do 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 do. Okay, I think I'm doing a lot better than I did the second time. Okay. We're almost to the point where he's dreaming about the cute little girl he met on the sidewalk on his way to work. Okay, let's try not to kill him this time. Oh, he's having an erotic dream. Oh god. 
Stop having erotic dreams in your dreams, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> Apparently they are having sex in his dream. Ah! Ah! Su success! Stick made it to the end of the night without dying from a heart attack. Eh, though it seems he ruined his pants from his dream last night. Oh well, at least he still got a pulse. Really? You're gonna dream about- Okay, well, we're continuing. Congratulations, you got stick through his full day, all while keeping his heart rate intact. You're something else, man. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. The end. Click here to exit. Well, that was definitely something. I guess this game could be useful somewhere. Better to jump drive this game anyway. Maybe sim game fan fanatics will like it. Alright. Alright. That's one game out of, out of the way. Four more to go. Okay, when I get to the next room, I might have to um, cut this video. Because we're rolling around to where I'm out of almost out of time. So... There will be a part two, of course. I plan to finish this game. And, um... I do plan on getting a webcam, so that way you guys can, you know, see who's talking to you. Um, it might be hard for me sometimes to upload videos because I do have an 8 month old son. And um, here lately it's been really hard to uh, do anything. But um, I'll try my best to keep uploading videos for you and I am trying to figure out how to put an outro on my videos. But for now, we are just going to leave it here, and um, I'm going to try to upload another video at some time today. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a dev guy or if it's going to be a different game, but uh, we'll see. But I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and, you know, take it easy, don't work too hard. Alrighty. Well, I'll see everybody later. Bye.